Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. And today I want to test out a deck that probably isn't going to be seen ever. Sorry about my voice there. A deck that probably isn't going to be seen ever, but I still want to try it out. I'm just going to jump into a game and I'm just going to do a room match because most of these Pokemon are level one. And I don't know that they'd really have a fighting chance in League without being leveled up a little bit. So what do I do is I mess up and immediately try to take this thing into League, which I don't want to do. And of course, we're gonna have a dual opponent. This should be interesting. <laughs> what I have is I just finished, if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that yesterday I finished my Geodude. It's chain level 10. <laughs> so the spinner part of the wheel is now doing 40 damage. And I could take this up to level 10 and that would make half the wheel give me a 25% chance of hitting 80 damage. I just don't know that it's worth doing quite yet. The other part of this deck is that I have ground types and when Geodude evolves, it becomes Graveler and make a move here. Um, Golem and Graveler, Graveler and Golem. And they're both one MPs, but with Swampert on the board, it will give an MP boost to all my one MP ground types. And with Zygarde on the field, this is gonna be disastrous. I really hope I have Goblock on. And this is why I did not want to take a fun deck into this because like, I haven't prepared. Okay, maybe I can get lucky here. Um, so I have Gold Block. I guess I have to take my foot. My voice feels like it's really bizarre today. So if it, if the volume, if for some reason I sound weird, I don't know what's going on, but my voice feels raspy or maybe not just not normal. How about that? Hey. What do we have? Does he have hurdle jump? Because if he does, and of course he does, I am going to, I'm going to take Zygarde here. And the reason why is because Zygarde is immune to Greninja's gold. I guess Swampert was as well. Could have gone Swampert. But I'm going to move Zygarde over one and then bring up Swampert on the next. So we'll go there. I've never played with this deck. I'm sure it's completely obvious. But um, this is why I didn't really want to take it in the league. Okay. So now... I'm not even going to use a plate. I'm just going to attack. If I lose Geodude on a land's energy, that's that's just the way it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, my opponent did not lose Gengar or his Weavile. It's an interesting deck my opponent is running here. It's a level 10 Weavile. Okay. Now, I can bring out Mega or Blastoise with the thought of taking out Mega Blastoise on my next turn. Seeing if I can't eliminate, I'm definitely going to take this opportunity to try to eliminate the Latios. And then Gengar will be my second target if I can get in a, a banish of Latios. Nice. This would be really unlucky not to be able to banish. Nice. God, Mega Blastoise, that ability is so good. Oh, 
That was a close one. But I've got at least another try. And you know what? These Weavile's have a ton of white as well. I could. I mean, I'm definitely going to attack again. I have to be careful of rolling miss. <laughs> Holy smokes, 290. And I have bright powder, so I've got to re-roll. <laughs> That's okay. 50 gets the job done. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and evolve my Geodude. He did his job there. Maybe should not have and kept him as a 2 MP and moved him closer. But should be able to get a knockout here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now I really need to get one of these Swamperts on the board. That's going to be about it. Looks like I'll probably get one more attack with Mega Blastoise. Maybe two if he... Okay, so he's going to attack me. Ooh, that was... I guess that wasn't close. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack attack here really doubt he's gonna be able to roll enough is his um sneasel level 10 as well i didn't notice that it is <laughs> so he's invested a lot in those those pokemon all right so we finally 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 after all this time get swampert out which it's gonna make for a really nice Traveler here at 2 MP, a 50 spinner, and landslide. And the reason why I brought two is so if one gets knocked out, then I have a backup. Because the last thing that I want is to be stuck with, yes, definitely we want to take out Golem. The last thing I want is to be stuck with three or four. Yeah, three or four 1 MP Pokemon on the field. Swampert is the catalyst that makes this deck either go or not go at all. I could have just attacked there, I guess. But with a man advantage... And does he have Max Revive? He does have a Max Revive. That being the case, I'm actually going to X Speed because I don't want him spinning Taunt into the Ice move. Most everything else. And he's still going to spin the Taunt. But he doesn't land the Ice move. Unless he has Gold Block and he does not. That is going to be a good game. Wow. So there you go, it <laughs> got backed into a corner. I wasn't fully prepared. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, I guess he could run Greninja. So I guess this isn't over yet. I could get knocked out here, but no. He's gonna roll again. He's gotta hit that four times. Three, woo. And uh, we barely, barely, barely survive there. So, Golem for the victory. Anyway, I, I put this deck together because I... A, because I finished my Geodude. And I actually wanted to try to use him for something other than the uncommon rooms. And so I was trying to brainstorm of what would make him usable. And I feel like the drawback to using Geodude is the fact that his two evolutions are one MP. At that point, my thought process switched over to what can I do? And then I remember, oh yeah, Swampert will give the MP boost. There does have to be three water types on the field. So if you're gonna do something with a ground deck, it's gonna have to be ground water. There is a mud energy plate. I haven't found a really good use for that yet, but I don't know. This is something I just kind of threw together. It worked out all right. 
I didn't go against the most OP deck, I will admit. But, you know, between Mega Blastoise picking people off, there's a lot of win conditions on this deck. Uh, Land's Wrath can roll purple, knock out other Pokemon. The 1 MP Pokemon gaining an extra MP to be 2 MP makes them really strong. Zygarde giving a 10 MP buff to the other ground types. You know, there's there's some there's some good value in here. And um yeah. I kind of like it. I don't know that I'm going to run it in league. In fact, I'm probably not gonna run it in league on purpose. But it's cool to put together fun decks and just see what you can come up with. That is gonna do it for today's installment. I have no idea what to expect for tomorrow. We'll let you know that I am working on my alt account here and there, trying to keep up with boosters and such. It's actually a lot more work than it than I thought it was gonna be. But I'm, I'm keeping up with that and kind of recording some stuff here and there. But that's all I got. If you have a fun deck, head over to Video Ideas. I know a lot of you have already posted fun decks, but take a screenshot or leave a comment on my Discord of what the fun deck is. Tell me a little bit about it and you know, I'll, I'll pick out a few that I like on, you know, during the week and, and see if I can't make it work for you. That's going to do it for today. So until next time.